we should just get started or whatever. Okay, so here's here's how today's stream is gonna go. We're gonna play a little bit, maybe like an hour of Super Auto Pets. We have a sponsored stream for um, Endless Dungeon, which I know you're gonna say, didn't that come out nine years ago? No, you're thinking of Dungeon of the Endless. This is the remaster from Amplitude Studios, who you also know from uh, Endless Legend. Dungeon of the Endless, actually one of the most underrated games of all time, without a doubt. Kate played so much of it, she, she even played against the dev, I remember that. So, um, we'll be checking that out for a couple of hours, maybe more, depending on, uh, on how the runs go. And then what are we going to do after that? I have no idea. You were so close to a full docket? Listen, motherfucker. It's been a long week, okay? Single dad, sick baby, one day reprieve, daycare closed for half the week. They're only open four days on a normal fucking week to begin with. Then I catch norovirus with a baby, lost five pounds in two days, shitting my brains out. My wife left me, bottom text. Meanwhile, like people are like, yeah, that's, uh, oh, oh, I feel for you, I feel for you. I'm, I'm an empath, so I feel for you. By the way, fuck you, you didn't take the alpaca twice. Go die. Excuse me, my wife left for a week. I did not turn into a divorced dad, though. Do you see me growing uh, ill-advised facial hair? Do you see me on testosterone replacement therapy? Do you see me posting really, really premature thirst traps? on Twitter with workout gloves on and talking about how, oh, it's deadlift day. It's been, sorry guys, sorry. I'm just really drained. Today was deadlift day. By the way, my favorite day, hashtag deadlift day. Do you hear me talking about uh, the Joe Rogan experience? Absolutely not. My, I'm, I'm just a guy. I'm, don't give me units with one HP, man. Do you see me getting addicted to sports gambling? And tweeting insane stuff about like college basketball 25 times a day is it, it, no, it's, it's not happening. I'm literally just a dude. How are you so in touch with modern archetypes? I'm 34 years old. I don't know any divorced dads, but but I've definitely I've met some. I know I said it the uh, the other day, but like at the gym, that's the the scariest guy to be like in the squat rack next to you is the divorced dad who has AirPods in and his music is so loud you can hear it uh, through his headphones, through the air, through your headphones. Because at any moment, you know this guy is about five seconds away from either snapping and putting his head through the mirror or alternatively breaking down in tears and, and requiring consolation from a complete stranger immediately. What's he listening to? Listen, don't make me a bad guy for this, but I do feel like divorced dads have the worst taste in music. At least my generation of divorced dads that exists exclusively in my head it is based on no evidence whatsoever. But I feel like they're still listening to like early 2000s new metal for sure. So true. Limp Bizkit, actually Creed. They're like, I'm living in my own prison for now, uh, right now for real, for real. Scott Stapp is just like me. I also cry out to God seeking only his decision. Gabriel stands and delivers. I've created my own prison. Yeah. Dave Matthews? Listen, I got no problem with Dave Matthews except for the time that he dumped all that sewage on people. But that might not even be his fault. We The jury's still out on that one. What do you think Zoomer divorced dads will be like? I don't know, man. I, I just, it's just too far in the, in the far-flung future for me to, to figure it out. I don't have that kind of creativity today. 